Good morning, folks. First, goodbye, solar tornadoes. Thank you for anchoring that northern filament down the last 10 days or so. Over at the eastern limb, you can see more plasma filaments coming in now. Those are nearer to the equator and therefore more relevant. Let's jump to spaceweathernews.com and find, well, useless SDO images for a few hours. All the backups were working, however, and via both GOES SXI and the Proba 2 swap in 174 angstroms, I'd say we could see our star just fine. Nothing happened during the glitches or afterwards on the Earth-facing disk. At least nothing major. However, we could be building to that. The planets have given our star a pass on the Earth-facing quiet effect, and we're in the crosshairs as tiny flashes begin to become visible as solar flares are slowly coming back to life. We are primarily focused on these incoming groups. They're appearing to gain magnetic complexity as they increase size. Remember, it's the southern spots that have the dense filament running through them. Don't want to see those guys get active. Trust me. Now, folks... That is a coronal hole stream impact in the solar wind. Orange density bulges up, but then hits the floor as the speedy particles set in there in yellow. We jumped into magnetic storm conditions, peaking at level 2. Both K and Q at Karuna agree with level 2 disruptions as the max. Remember, folks, in addition to a solar watch in the coming days, the quake watch is rising as well due to the turning in dark coronal holes. While we wait, it's the moderate rumbles continuing to take the top spots lithospherically. Top Stories Although it has never been seen, Caltech scientists believe the only explanation for the orbits of certain system objects may be the existence of another massive one, a full-size planet more than 200 AU away. Folks, we're going to cut into this one a bit on the website for a number of reasons. One of them being that the diagram of system order makes no sense. The planets haven't looked like that in decades and won't again for nearly a century, so we don't really know what's being considered there. Climate report is out for the globe. December was a brutal mash of record heat and fast swings. 2015 as a whole is said to be the warmest year on record. Of course, those are the records that only go back to 1880 because otherwise they wouldn't be able to have any headlines about the climate whatsoever. We have been hotter in the past, and I'm not just talking about dinosaur days. That continues to be the case now, along with Earth's near catastrophically low CO2 concentrations compared to the life-friendly periods on Earth. Oh dear, I've said too much. I forgot there are sheep listening. And lastly, on the link front, we've got the Netherlands expressing major concern over aging Belgian nuclear plants. Video link below. Looking at the weather here, we will see more precipitation at the west coast. But by tonight, the central Earth spot will strengthen and drop lightning and perhaps a tornado in the south. Across the pond, it's the Icelandic low there cresting Ireland and the UK. It's over the next day going to bring rain coming in waves and waves. Down under, a convergence line cuts through today, but a little rain can't match what's straddling them in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Nine days, folks. Just nine days left to observing the frontier. If you're on the fence, don't let me know because I'm going to grab your collar and drag you in kicking and screaming. We would, however, prefer you come of your own accord. Spaceweathernews.com slash OTF for details. Let's take a look at those cyclones in the south and the other primary earth spots, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.